my darklings, it's me, Cherry. Thanks for coming back again. Um, today I have an unboxing for you. I've posted these on my Instagram before, but um, I've actually never filmed it. Um, so this is the monthly subscription box from Fortune Cookie Soap Company. Um, this month's theme is The Wiz. Each month, these subscription boxes come with, I believe, six different items. They're usually minis um, with one full-size product. And they sort of showcase the collection that's going to be released at the end of the month. So it gives you a chance to smell all the yummy things and um, check out different product types that you might not have tried before. And each time um, it comes with a $10 off a $25 purchase coupon. The box itself is, I believe, $17 a month. There was a wait list. Um, I don't know if there is any more, but um, there might still be. But I can tell you for certain it is well worth it. Um, so let's crack this open and see what we get. I love all my fingers, that's good. <laughs> oh. All right, so the name of this box is Witch Please. It is the monthly autumn box. And it always comes with this nice little card that not only lets you know when the full um, collection is going to launch, which this one launches August 30th at 6 p.m. Central Time, um, but it also gives you a description of everything in the box and all of the different scents. Um, they usually pack it in some cute colored paper and it usually comes with a sticker of some kind. This month's sticker says, I think I'll try Defying Gravity. So, let's see, ooh. All right, first and foremost, we have the Shiz Perfume Oil. Um, it is described as, normally you wouldn't want to smell like Shiz, but get ready to eat those words. What? It wouldn't be fortune cookie soap without an inappropriate remark or two. A woodland hike through damp balsam woods with top notes of maple leaves blowing through new dawn blossom, laurel, and sweet clove. Oh, wow. Okay, so I don't normally, I like, I like wintry woodsy notes, but not normally um, like just woodsy notes. Um, and it seems like it's gonna smell really fresh on my skin. Um, but it won't be overpowering. Um, so I really like that. That's a good, that's a good one. Next up is their OCD hand sanitizer um, in BFFs. And this one is described as blueberries and pumpkins might be considered an unexpected friendship, but in this unique scent, they're inseparable. Sticky sugared blueberries and luscious baked pumpkin with all the fall spices atop a warm cake accord. Ooh. Ooh. Got some in my nose. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I really like that. I got some on my hand because I got some on my nose. Oh, but that's really nice. Um, the pumpkin and the blueberry marry each other quite nicely in the scent, like the description says. Um, I really like that scent. Um, I might think about getting, um, some other stuff in BFFs. <gasps> Yay! Okay, this is a... Sorry, I get excited about these. This is a car diffuser. Um, you can hang it from your rearview mirror. Um, the top is typically made out of wood, and so you just kind of tip it over once you've taken the little stopper out. 
the little plastic stopper out, um, you can tip it over and it soaks the wood on the top and diffuses into the car. Um, so this is in the scent Flying Monkeys. Uh, mischiefs in the air, a fruity, breezy blend of peach, watermelon, neroli, jasmine, with air and aquatic notes. But the real star of this fragrance? Fresh, ripe bananas. Imagine that. They're so funny. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this open without splashing it all over myself. Can't smell like that. really well on here. Hello, okay. Yep, definitely banana-y. But yeah, it's got a nice, like, a little bit of background of floral in there. You can smell the watermelon and the peach just slightly. Ooh, that is really nice. And yeah, it's funny because you think, you know, if they say if the the forefront is bananas. It's gonna be like super banana-y, but it's not. It's really married that banana with all of the other scents to give it something totally new. So I like that, flying monkeys, yum yum. This month we got a little fortune cookie soap. And these are their namesake. They make little soaps in the shape of fortune cookies. And they always come with a little fortune inside, which you should take out. I, I made the mistake of, of not doing this uh, the first time I got one. Um, take out your fortune before you use the soap. Uh, otherwise it just turns to mush inside and then you'll never know what it said. Um, so this month's fortune says, Everyone deserves the chance to fly. Isn't that sweet? Oh. And the fragrance is There's No Place Like Home. Oh. Oh man, that's like. That's like the holidays in a soap. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. Um, close your eyes and repeat after me. Curled Macintosh apple peels lovingly kissed with a hint of cinnamon. Allspice and clove. Make this fragrance warm and cozy, just like home. As long as home's not in Kansas. Oh yeah, it is cozy for sure. Oh my, that's really yummy. All right, here we have some whipped cream, which is like their body cream. And this is in the scent, green is the new black, of course. Hmm. Because orange would have been too obvious. Top notes of orange, apple, pear, pineapple, and cherries lured into autumn by pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove, all rounded out with warm vanilla-infused sugar. It smells delightful. I'm gonna put that on my hands. Okay. Wow, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on and I feel like the pumpkin's a little bit overpowering, but not like, not terribly so. It's, even though it's got a lot of fruity notes, I do still feel like it's a super fall fragrance. Um, but I really like the way it smells. Um, not my favorite. I don't think I'll be picking anything else up in this scent, but it smells good. Last but not least, I believe, yep, last but not least is a walnut scrub in Swankified. And this says, we're the most swankified place in this town. Bunches of ripe bananas mashed into sweet sugary cake batter, then topped with walnuts and baked to a golden brown. Yummy. That, <laughs> that car diffuser's <laughs> scent is really... <laughs> killing my killing my nose fun hint if you're like smelling a bunch of different stuff um, you can either smell ground coffee or just like your clothes 
um, and that should reset your nose. Ooh, you'd think it just smelled like banana bread from the description, but it's it's got I got my nose again, <laughs> but it's got some nice warmth to it, um, and it's not too banana y. Um, so I really like that. Um, I I think my favorite scent. I really like. Um, There's no place like home in the cookie soap. Um, but I don't think I would pick up anything else with that scent. Um, I really liked, I really liked the BFFs. That banana and pumpkin combination is killer. Um, and I also really liked Flying Monkeys, um, because it wasn't too banana-y and just had like a very, like crazy interesting scent combination going on. Um, so I'll probably, when, um, when the collection launches, I will probably look into something in BFF, because um, that's just my personal favorite. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, I'll include a link to the Fortune Cookie Soap Company's website um, and where their subscription box uh, is sold. And I believe there should be a link um, on that page to the waiting list if you are interested in signing up. I highly recommend it. I always really enjoy it, uh, almost everything that I get. Um, if anything, if I don't like something, these are perfect little gifts um, for anybody, anytime. Um, they're also perfect little travel size um, containers. So I, I always end up either hanging on to them or just giving them away to friends that I know will like them. So um, yeah, again, thanks for coming along. Um, if you have any questions or want to leave a comment, please do so below. Um, please hit that thumbs up if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already or would like to. And if you do, don't forget to tap that bell so you receive notifications. And um, yeah, please stay lovely. I'll see you next time.